what is up guys Sayyid here in this video I'll be showing you as how to update your macOS Mavericks to 10.9.2 using your Hackintosh now there are two methods that you can update your Mavericks to 10.9.2 the first method is going into your app store and as you can see the, down, the update is available you can update it through your app store or the second way is that you can head over to your Apple website and you can download the combo update as I'll be showing right now you can just go ahead over to your Apple website and click on support scroll down and click on download and updates and you can download the combo update that will be available through Apple website so either way you can update your Mavericks to 10.9.2 using your Hackintosh but I prefer I more prefer uh, updating your uh, Mac through your App Store so what changes 10.9.2 has brought is it adds stability to receive make and receive face and our FaceTime audio calls and uh, also it adds an ability to block incoming I message from individual senders like uh, uh, blocking of uh, um, messages uh, that was available on your uh, on your iPhone now you can do it on your Mac and uh, also it uh, improves the autofill compatibility in Safari and also here and there minor uh, bug, fi bug fixes are there as it uh, also uh, fixes an issue that causes audio distortion on certain Macs so uh, I'll be just uh, clicking on this update option and as you can see you, you'll be getting a message prompt as a download and restart your mac this update is around uh, 770 mb approximately 770 mb so you just sit back and relax and let the mac do its work and i'll be getting back to you guys when the update has been done so as you can see the software has been downloaded onto my Mac and it's uh, prompting a message as restarting the computer and it's just counting down the seconds that uh, want to restart. So just click on this restart option and as you as will be seeing that your Mac will be restarted and you'll be seeing a screen as uh, updating the software as I'll be showing right now. So as you can see it will be giving you a message as installing software updates so it might take around 10 to 9, 9 to 10 minutes to uh, install the software update onto your Mac. So as you can see the update has been installed onto my um, uh, Hackintosh now it it's just about 10 seconds to restart the uh, computer. Now do you remember to back up your computer before installing the update as you can see it's a booting into my system as you can see just enter the password so as you can see my Mac is updated to I'll just zoom it but Mac is updated to version 10.9.2 so uh, through this simple to simple easy procedures you can update your Mac from 10.9 uh, or even 10.9.1 to 10.9.2 so the main issue that we get after installing uh, or after updating your Mavericks uh, is that you might lose your audio files as you can see I don't have my audio files installed onto my uh, system so what you need to do is you have to go into your multi beast option you can install the audio drivers from there or you can install it through your text builder also so just go into your multi beast go into your drivers option and choose Realtek ALC XXX. Now here are two options available. Like if you have a DSD DSDT install onto your system, if you have DSDT, you can just uh, click on this option and select your audio compatibility, the the motherboard, the audio motherboard compatibility from here. Or either if you don't have a, a DSDT, as I don't have a DSDT file, I'll be just uh, clicking on this and I'll be choosing my uh, audio files. Uh, 
uh, or your kickster files as you can see I have an ALC 892 so I'll be just choosing it and I'll be just heading over to build and uh, select the drive that uh, your OS is install and click on install agree and enter your password as you can see the drivers is uh, getting installed onto your system so just wait for the drivers to get installed So as you can see the, the, the drivers are installed and you just have to restart your computer again to make the drivers work as I'll be showing right now. You just have to restart the computer. Enter your password and you'll be seeing that as you can see my audio is now installed onto my uh, Hackintosh so through this simple and easy procedure you can also get back your audio so hope you guys like my video find my video helpful if you find this video helpful please do give it a thumbs up and also follow me on twitter facebook instagram and google plus and if you have any questions please leave in the comment section below till then i'll be seeing you in my next video